In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered as one family as we celebrate today the sixth Sunday of Easter. And in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, as we celebrate the Feast of the Lord, we offer this holy Mass for all the uh, members of the Light of Jesus here in our Rizal community, Rizal areas. And also, we include in our prayers the celebration of the birthday of Brother Raymond Quiroz. Our leader here in uh, Rizal area. Also, today is the Mother's Day, so we offer this Mass for all our mothers, Nanai, Mama, Inai, or whatever you want to call your mother. So we uh, uh, offer this Holy Mass for them, thanking them for all the sacrifices they have accorded to each one of us. We also offer this Holy Mass for our personal and particular intentions for those who got sick due to COVID-19. We also offer this for all the doctors, nurses, for all the frontliners, for all those who died due to COVID, Sister Niming also offer this for their families and for all the souls in purgatory. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord pardon and strength. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartful devotion, with heartfelt devotion, these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up. I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, 
Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord to the nations power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. Response. The Lord, the Lord has made His salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed His justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Response. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Response. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this love, in this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and you, your joy, might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I, ha as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that I that will remain. So that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to each one of you. We all greet Brother Raymond as he celebrates today his birthday. Brother Raymond, I uh, thank the Lord for the gift of life accorded to you and that uh, uh, God may shower blessings and graces upon you and deliver you from all the dangers and sickness. Wish you the best, Brother Raymond, as you continue ministering the light of Jesus here in the area of Rizal. My dear friends, remain in my love. This is very, very important to us as Christians to remain in Christ's love. 
This is the commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ. Love one another as I love you. Truly, to follow the path of Jesus, we need, we need to remain in his love. To become Christians, not only by name, but Christians in words and deeds must be practiced, must be manifested concretely in our day-to-day -day life. What is the purpose of being a Christian if you do not practice? What is the purpose of being, they call, mga Kristiyano, pero hindi naman nakikitaan ng pagiging a Kristiyano o hindi nakikitaan ng mga aral at turo ni Kristo. What a baloney, my dear friends. If you uh, uh, pretend to become a Christian by name, but not by deed, it's really uh, uh, few, leads to futility. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to uh, remain in God's love. And in the first reading, there we will see that love transcends boundaries. It destroys barriers. Hindi na tinitingnan kung ikaw ba ay hentil, kung ikaw ba ay hudyo. No. Because in the eyes of God, we are all equal. In the eyes of of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no more uh, Gentile or Jew, but rather we become children of God. That is why when we say we remain in God's love, what do we mean? That we do not anymore consider our brothers or our sisters as slaves, but rather we consider them now as friends. Malaga ito na the fruit of being a Christian would be transformed in the life of each one of us that uh, make us uh, this or that destroys our even the individuality that destroys our uh, partiality, that destroys our uh, selfishness. And that we become open to accept our brothers and sisters, not anymore as, as slaves. Hindi na katuwang, katulong, kundi kaibigan. If we remain in God's love and if we follow the commandment of love of Jesus, we mean that we have to live it concretely. And one way of living it concretely is to accept our brothers and sisters, whatever be their religion, their color, their race, or what have you. We have to accept them because they are the children of God. Second point, to remain in God's love and to live the love that Jesus has manifested us is none other than to bear fruit. And what do we mean by bearing fruit? None other than that we become available to others. That we become productive children of God. Na hindi lang tayo mga naging kristyano 
sa pangalan, kundi naging makabuluhan at makahulugan ang iyong pagiging kristyano sa pagsasabuhay mo nito. You bear fruit. May bunga ang iyong pagiging kristyano at hindi ka naging kristyano lang na uh, hindi tumutubo. That is why this love must be a transformative kind of love that leads us into action, into transformation, into a change of uh, uh, our personality. And that we are willing to destroy our uh, uh, our partiality, our biases, our limitations. And that we are open to bear fruit. Magkaroon ng bunga. And the fruit na masabi natin kasiya-siya sa harapan ng Panginoon. And lastly, to remain in God's love and to live the commandment of love, Jesus is assuring us that whatever you ask from my Father, I will give you. Beautiful. Napaganda na. If we, we do love our brothers and sisters, if we do continue loving, if we do love in our brothers and sisters in need, Jesus assured us that whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will give you. The assurance that the love that we have manifested has truly rooted and that it has an effect in our life. And that Jesus himself is telling us, I will give you whatever you ask from my Father. Yan pala ang tunay na bunga ng uh, uh, pagmamahal na ating isinasagawa at isinasabuhay sa kapwa. Walang iba, kundi ang uh, pagkakaloob ng Diyos na mga kahilingan at pangangailangan natin sa buhay na ito. What is really the image of true love? What is really the picture of the, uh, uh, the manifestation of love that you have shared to one another? Ano nga ba ang magandang mukha na may hahambing natin ang pagmamahal na isinasagawa natin sa kapwa? None other than our mother. Our mother who cares us. Our mother who assists and helps us. Ang mga ina na ating kanya-kanyang buhay na naririyan upang gabayan, alalayan, tulungan ang bawat isa sa atin. Tamang-tama, we are celebrating the Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I would like to greet my mother in America. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. You are truly an image of the love of God. You are truly the manifestation of the love of God to others. Ang ating mga mahal na ina, sila yung mga mukha ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Mukha ng kalinga, ng kompasyon, ng care, 
ng proteksyon, mukha na umaalalay at gumagabay sa kabila nating na mga kahinaan at kasalanan. Mukha ng Diyos na handang magpatawad kahit ano man ang ating nagawang pagkakasala. To all the mothers out there, sa mga ina po natin na uh, nakikiisa ngayon sa ating banal na misa, Happy Mother's Day po. I salute you, my dear mothers, for what you have done to us. What we are right now actually is precisely because you have been part of my life, of your life, of our life in uh, whatever success we are right now. I thank you, my dear mother. And we have, of course, the beautiful image of Mama Mary as the model of all the mothers who cares, protects, who forgives, who uh, has compassion, who uh, is always there to take care of us no matter what will happen or what happens to our life. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time of pandemic we're in, many people have been affected. No work, no food. We have the community pantry thanking the Lord for this instrument of sharing what we have and of uh, getting what we need. That in spite of all the uh, uh, problems that we are encountering in life, we know that God is always at our side, continuously loving us, continuously caring for us, continuously guiding us, continuously healing us, continuously forgiving us whatever sin I and you may have done. As we continue our celebration, we entrust to the Lord the situation of the pandemic of coronavirus in our country and that this pandemic may already be stopped and that we live in a healthy and we live in a uh, uh, world that is truly full of the love of God. We entrust everything to the love of Jesus. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Father that we may live the love we profess and celebrate so that we may be known as the disciples of Christ, and that his joy may be ours. Let us humbly call upon him, saying, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. For the church and civil authorities, may the Lord fill them with a strong and unselfish love, that they may pursue justice and peace for all, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. 
For the members of the family and community who are at odds with each other, may they learn to forgive, understand, and reconcile with one another, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For those who suffer pain, illness, or disease, may the Lord restore their health and turn the, the anxiety of their families into joy, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they delight in the joy of the heavenly kingdom in the company of angels and saints, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. In, sil in the silence of our heart, let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord God, Jesus, our Son, commanded us to love one another and showed us a marvelous example in his own life. May we grow in love so that we may be worthy of being called your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, Every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, may the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, 
he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you this thanks in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our mother too, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and saints, on her constant intercession. In your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity. Your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and all of you gathered in this celebration and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. We particularly uh, include our birthday celebrant, Brother Raymond, and also all the moms of the world, and especially here, our, our own mothers. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through our Lord Jesus, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen as one family of god 
Let us now pray together the prayer Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share and offer each other the love and the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, commanded each one of us to love one another. Happy are you are all invited to receive him in this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion antiphone. If you love me, keep my commandments, says the Lord, and I will ask the Father, and he will send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Alleluia. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. So again, we greet our birthday celebrant, a blessed birthday, happy birthday, Malikayang Karawan, Brother Raymond. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We will now pray a special prayer for all our mothers. Let us uh, pray to them, entrusting them to the Lord for the guidance strength both in mind and body give them uh, necessary graces they need in life we pray for them that uh, they may be delivered from all the dangers and sickness especially COVID prayer for mothers good and gentle God we pray in gratitude for our mothers and for all the women of theory who have joined with you in the, in the wonder of bringing forth new life. 
You who became human through a woman, grant to all mothers the courage they need to face the uncertain future that life with children always brings. Give them the strength to live and to be loved in return, not perfectly, but humanly. Give them the faithful support of husband, family, and friends as they care for the physical and spiritual growth of their children. Give them joy and delight in their children to sustain them through the trials of motherhood. Most of all, give them the wisdom to turn to you for help when they need it most. We ask this in Jesus' name, true Mary, the Immaculate Mother. Amen. Again, we greet our, all our mothers, our nanay, mama, mom, inai, a blessed and a uh, happy Mother's Day. Palakpakan natin sila. Happy Mother's Day po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the loving God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.